a lot of people asking how Ryan put the AC in his bus. Let's check it out. So the long and short of it is basically this is a custom install. Everything's just made from parts, parts. Yeah, I didn't buy that line of parts. Right, so what you did first here is made an AC bracket. And I started this with it in the car. I started making the brackets and you can see it really, there's no place to attach anything to on a Volkswagen engine. So you have to go off the, the header bolts, the bolts that go to the head. But I also made the top of that bracket bolt on top of the heat riser tube so it actually has like extra support there and then after i got all that said i knew the compressor was going to fit in here and fit in my engine compartment i took the engine out i made this brace and actually had fit around the fuel pump before and it actually has another brace on the back side here you can see that goes to the back header bolts on the back side so there's both i use both bolts so i know some of those kits you see, they just use a one bolt. That's one eight millimeter stud holding this giant compressor up. So I, I, I wouldn't go that route because I don't want it to break off and those things break off by themselves. Was this just a tensioner you found as well? I, yeah, off of Amazon. I just needed just some kind of tensioner because I didn't want to make my whole compressor move. I thought that it would be easier to make brackets attached that don't have to keep adjusting. So. I found that tensioner for like $15 and a whole, there was like gates and a whole bunch of different brands. So I knew it'd be easy to get and it had a bracket on there. So I just had to make this extra little bracket down here and put a belt on it. It was super easy. And now it's got a compressor mounted engine. And I did use the smaller, this is a factory AC pulley a friend of mine had. He gave me that and you know, it's much smaller than the crank. And I know on some of the, especially the older Beatles, I guess they use them because the, it keeps the compressor pushed back a little further but the the difference in gearing between that and that is huge so it already takes some power away from the engine to use with the smaller one if you put it on here chances are it's not going to idle you'll need to idle up solenoid and i didn't want to i was hoping i didn't have to deal with that i didn't know it was going to work or not i, I just wanted ac so <laughs> this is how i did it and if i was to do it again i would definitely use that smaller pulley on the crank and it blows cold. It's not like it goes too slow, even at idle. idle. It's, it'll blow 40 degrees out of the All right, let's go underneath and look at the condenser. Condenser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's my condenser. I mounted it in between the frame rails up high. A friend of mine had this condenser for me, too. So, and it had the fan shroud with dual fans. And you can see it still sits a little bit below my frame rails. And my bus sits... You know, the torsion housing sits on the ground, so when it's sitting on the ground, these are about an eighth of an inch off the ground. And I've already welded the condenser once from smashing it into the ground, and it's not the greatest place. These fans do pull down, and there's space above it so the air can come in and down. That's how all that works. But uh, it, I would really like, there's really no place to put it in this thing because it's on the ground. I might put it up on the roof rack one day. These <laughs> hoses, you could just buy these by the by the foot you get whatever what however whatever length you want and then you can get the ends and i brought them up front to the hydraulic guy and he crimped them for me on his hydraulic crimper so that should hold so <laughs> just ran hoses all the way up to the front and the condenser has a dryer mounted right here with the switch sets the high pressure switch it's built into that so ran that to the through the line through the wiring back to the compressor and that takes care of that so I mounted it here, it's still above the frame rail, out of the way, and the lines keep coming forward. There's a lot of rust and stuff going on here, and a huge <laughs> mess here. Look at this! Like, <laughs> <what is this? laughs> I'm picking up garbage on the road, I guess. <laughs> All right. I took the heater tube out of it because I live in Florida and I don't need heat. But I just ran up my hydro or you know, my AC lines up through that. Do that. That's a drain for the. Evaporator, yeah, that part up in the front there, and then the evaporator is inside. <laughs> Here's my can no evaporator, is what that is. This I got off of eBay, and I just took some measurements. They have like a whole bunch of different universal evaporators you can get off of there, and there are different BTUs too. So try to find the one that you'll fit that's the most BTUs and that you like. And I close off the vent over here because you can shut them off. And I just have these two on because mainly I'm by myself all the time in this thing. But 
it blows some air out of that thing. Even with all the rust soles in here, it, it's great. It blows 40 degrees out of these things. And, and I made a bulkhead back here so that I don't have to cool the whole back off. So I can keep the, the AC up front, which really helped out there. So, but yeah, it's nothing special. It's just parts that you can buy. Anybody can do that. Just put the parts together. Maybe the hardest part was uh, mounting the compressor in there. But other than that, it's straightforward, simple. You can buy it. You can buy these parts. Everybody sells them. It's just kind of it's AC stuff, AC parts. It's AC parts. Yeah. So basically, if you're creative and if you you could do it similar to this, or if you got a bug, you can you know, be a little more creative where you put your uh, uh, condenser. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, in Florida, it's a must. Gotta have it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so great now. <laughs> All right. There you have it. Well, that was fun. Yeah, man. <laughs>